So I'm here with Ben, and uh, there's no mistaking about the success that he's had, and folks think that this is out of the blue, but it's really not. Ben, can you tell the folks a little bit about yourself over at DLive? Yeah, so um, I run a cryptocurrency derivative exchange called Bybit. Um, we focus on derivative trading, perpetual contracts. Uh, right now we have four products and uh, we are probably the second best liquidity in terms of uh, trading mm -hmm. and uh, around fourth or fifth in volumes for uh, perpetual or futures trading. What are the yeah. four products? Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and the US. Yeah. So you can trade them with up to 100 leverage. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, and my background, uh, I was doing uh, running a Forex retail exchange for more than seven years. Okay. So uh, I was in a very competitive environment. And uh, I, um, when I, I got into crypto in 2017 very early, so I'm not, I'm a young guy, okay? okay. I'm a very young guy. But the, but, the, <laughs> but the success, but the growth that you've had yeah. over a short period of time is yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Anyone, yeah. quite frankly, would look at that and try to figure out the blueprint. Yeah. And we talked about this. The blueprint is really you. You're the secret <laughs> sauce. You're the little McDonald's sauce inside there. You know, really and truly. It's, it's, I think it's, it takes a lot of experience to run exchange. Okay. And I'm very glad I was lucky to have about seven years experience in running in an extremely raw, mature and a competitive environment. So when I look into crypto, uh, I was looking at the trading environment mm -hmm. and I felt there was some missing sauce or some inefficiency in the right. market. Right. Clients were simply not able to trade during volatility. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not getting the best customer support, the overall experience. So this is where I saw my opportunity and I believe in crypto that will be very big in the future. Mm -hmm. So that's why I launched Bybit and started this whole thing. Bybit, yeah. good name too. <laughs> why? why? Why do you truly think crypto right. is going to be the next thing? We've yeah. heard so many different. Re yeah. Why do no, you think? I think I was looking at through people around me. Uh -huh. So uh, I have many friends who are got into crypto, okay. and uh, actually the person who introduced me into crypto was uh, right now the managing director for Etoro in Asia. Uh so he told me. <laughs> that's and the a, next that's a good day, I made point. a deposit <laughs> into Etoro and then started doing this whole thing. So I figured, well, if it's one industry, because you hear negative things about crypto. You, right. A lot of people say it's a scam and all that. But then you start to see all these talented people, mm -hmm. very smart, intelligent individuals, and very success, success, successful people mm -hmm. going into crypto. You just start to wonder, OK, there must be something going on. They're trying on. to fill in the gaps exactly. so, of uh, the missing. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So that's why I decided to look into it. I sort of got hooked myself. So OK, that's OK. I started. Yeah. What, what company, I'm not going to say coin, but what company using blockchain Yeah. What do they have a crypto? Do you really think it's going to become successful within the next two years? I think Bybit. <laughs> <laughs> you asked the wrong question. <laughs> what company besides your company? <laughs> what no. company like, oh, I'll make it even easier. Yeah. What company? What sector? Besides fin besides fintech, too way too yeah. easy, right? Yeah, yeah. What's, what what sector will have a byproduct of success right. because of the implementation of blockchain technology? Yeah. So I, I think number one, exchange is getting big. Mm -hmm. And for me, running exchange, actually we are actively looking for custodians. So I think custodian service is something that would combine traditional and probably crypto. Okay. Because a lot of people would think, if you are running exchange, where do you store our coins? Right now we use multi-signature code wallet. Okay. But uh, we actually would like to find a few legitimate custodian service okay. that have proven track and that we can work with and yeah. to show our clients that here's your fund being stored and all that. And I, I believe a lot of clients ask the question, like, how do I keep my funds secure? I mean, right. people, right. not even exchange, they get stolen all the time, they get stolen. So I think custodian is one of the area would get big and uh, I believe it's something that we will look into as well. All right, guys, yeah. you're yeah. getting good info, good info. <laughs> I am telling you, this has been a day. Yeah. If you are an innovator and you're an entrepreneur, yeah. getting information like this from folks like you <laughs> is you, how, you can't you. beat that. You're yeah. giving folks the, a roadmap. Hey, I'm right here. I'm yeah. super successful. In two <laughs> years, people are dying. Yeah. Exchanges, we know, are popping up a dime a dozen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you've met, can you share with us one little secret of your success? Um, 
I think I focus internally as okay. the CEO of the company. I, f I find a lot of uh, exchange folks external, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of marketing or different stuff. But we have been launching, we only had four, four products ever from March. Okay. But we have a huge IT team. So what we're focusing on is the fundamental of exchange. Okay. And a lot of people ask me, what do we bring new to the table? Right. What, bring, what we bring new is something that actually works, especially during volatility, mm. that we don't want server downtime. And we're actually very proud to say that we have no main we have no server downtime. So uh, we've been trying to provide a platform people can actually trade. Mm. And these are the fundamental what traders really need. So we focus on the basic, we don't have any tokens. I mean, right. exchange Not has been a long business. So okay. yeah. So yeah. You, 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 are you finding that co using cold storage on a daily basis, is it efficient? No, it's extremely inefficient and hectic. It's one of the reasons we're not adding too many coins. Because uh, it's- <laughs> I was going to ask what your roadmap of coins are going to be. procedure is so compl complex and it involves oh, daily operation from the founders yeah. to make sure that, uh, uh, so it's literally you give up security or you, you give up inefficiency. I mean efficiency. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be extremely secure, you can do that and you right. just use a multi-sig cold wallet, never touch internet, but that becomes extremely inefficient. But right. if you want to do e efficiency, then you lose out. You, you might have the possibility because your keys are secured online. Right. So uh, that's the choice you have to make. Is that just more bandwidth of the existing team, or do you need to scale your team if you were going to continue with that cold storage uh, uh, process? Uh, it's really just hectic work on the founders right. because we have the keys and uh, there's procedures like we cannot fly at the same time. And all these things. I, mean, I've, I remember that from corporate days. The yeah, whole team yeah, could yeah. not fly at the same time. <laughs> different planes, different times. Yeah, 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 remember so, that. Yeah, okay. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So what can the community right now deliver to you that you would be so happy that you could deliver back to them something tenfold? What could community bring back, give it to me? Give to you. What, if you could ask the community yeah. of something, for something, yeah. besides your basic support, yeah. besides opening up an account, right? Besides yeah. that, what would you ask them to do? Um, I would, because we're constantly in our community to get collect feedbacks. Mm -hmm. So all of our updates, all of our, our new product is based on the feedbacks okay. of our community. Um, I would really like to know what community can tell us what's the next direction, what product they really want. Right. So uh, we can focus on that. I mean, um, we want Litecoin to listen to is the next. community. Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash might be next, okay. but if I figured out how to do this whole withdrawal procedure. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I work on this other thing, right? yeah. I'll knock that out. Yeah. Listen, I can't thank you enough for stopping thank you. by. Yeah. Um, just a second, let's check on, the, check on the chat. Okay. And let's see if we have any questions. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah. This is absolutely fantastic. How can the community reach out to you? To me. To reach oh. out to you or reach out to the, your representatives to find out how they can be more a part of your team. I'm actually on Twitter. Okay. I, I reply almost every uh, DMs or the uh, inquiries about Bybit uh, okay. personally. So I'm very much on Twitter. And also we, are, we have a Telegram group. Okay. Uh, client can talk to us directly in the Telegram group. Okay. Yeah, and we're actually also making a feedback page right now. So you can actually, you give us a feedback, we'll publicly be transparent, listed on it. And very then we smart. tell you, hey, we already took your advice. Here's some of the prices we give you for giving us a good advice. That's fantastic, yeah. because you so know how people that. feel like their input is yeah, of value. Very important. That's fantastic yeah. that you're already yeah. working on that. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank Not you, like man. you needed your success. <laughs> continue to rise, thank continue you. to rise. Thank you. If you ever need anything from our community, we'll make sure to let you know. All right, well, thank too. you. Thank you. Okay.